Well, hello there, Jimin. Welcome to... I have no idea this is intermission or chapter 5. I'm just gonna let it play out. <gasps> Screenshots! Damn, there's so many already. Wow. Oh, this is where we were in Reen's uh, daydream, right? What do we call it? The beyond the rivery bit. I know he's not here, but... Look at that! Holy shit, that's actually... Okay, this might be the most, in... <laughs> most visually stunning place of the game so far. I like this stuff, okay. Again, they're going for every aesthetic. I... Oh! I remember you fl How did I forget her from the trailer? She was in it for like two seconds. Is it you? Are you the mysterious wife who everyone's telling me is like the best character? I'm curious. Ooh. It's you, isn't it? You know what the... Ooh. That's eight leaves, Zero right? Form. Duality. Easy to use. I think you're the one everyone's talking about. How did I forget you? My God. <laughs> Thank goodness. Looks like I'm in good form tonight. You're not the one that cut Reen's sword in half, though. I'm pretty sure that's someone else. I wasn't sure I could even perfect the zeroth form after being told to do it out of nowhere. But I think I've earned the right to hold my head up high to Master's younger disciple now. Not that I can see him joining us up on stage anytime soon. All is ready, princess. In record time, too. Oh my god, it is, isn't it? You're the ones that Reen fought. Well, he soloed all of them, and then their master, which might be him, and then got defeated by someone with a magic sword. Which could be you, I don't know. Is your name Shizuna? Why well, am I thinking Shizuna? She's like, it's she something, I think. We couldn't have asked for a bigger Sorry. client. I'm very hyped. This is the first long-term contract we've had in a while. We can afford to take it easy for our first task, at least. That is but the, the dude's mask. the time has come to reaffirm our existence to the world. Tread lightly for the Ikaruga lurk in the shadows. Oh, he's gone. He listened to that. <laughs> so she noticed us. Oh. I should have known we couldn't deceive the divine blade of silver. This is a reconnaissance in force mission. We only need to assess their capabilities, not win the battle. Our foes are both above S rank in strength. Strike in the Blitz Halberd formation. Yeah! I wouldn't do that, my dude. Don't fight an eight leaves divine blade, okay? So I'm assuming she mentioned she's referencing Reen then as the younger disciple, right? Ooh. <clears throat> oh. Happening. <laughs> I plan to depart for the east after speaking with him. How fortunate that I was able to catch a glimpse of the living legend's covert student before doing so. I cannot help but wonder what she fights for with those unusual talents of hers. Hmm. But that mystery, along with what lurks here beneath the Conlone Mountains mm -hmm. under Calvert's stormy skies, will have to wait. Okay, so she's the other Divine Blade we've not heard about. Now is not the time to investigate further. Though it would be a shame to let this encounter go to waste, it might be worth pitting my own Greenhorn student against her to see how he fares. Ban? I don't know. I'm just guessing. <laughs> oh, God, I love the intros. They really do just throw you in it. I'm, I feel like that's the one you're all talking about. She gives me the vibes of... Yeah, I think that's the one you're talking about. <laughs> She's everyone's favorite, apparently. I can see why, and obviously I am a sucker for everything eight leaves. I am a massive reen sim, as everyone knows. I don't know if that's the one that cut his sword in half, though. I feel like it isn't. She seems too nice for that. Although, they, didn't they mention the sister? Oh, is, this, is it finally, is it Judith time, finally? Oh my god. Is everything happening? <laughs> I have to admit, I never thought you would be the one asking to go out with me. She's obviously using you, Maxine, but he's too egotistical to notice that. It's been a while since he's been in, actually. Hello, Maxime Lucon. We did appear at an event together. Was that all it took to spark such a passionate plea? <laughs> I'd like to believe I put more passion into my films than anyone, if nothing else. Oh, she's incognito because of the glasses. No one knows who she is. <laughs> I'm oh. sure it's the same with you and racing. Now these two passionate souls can finally have the talk I've always wanted. 
Even if I feel bad for your girlfriend and fans for meeting with you like this. Damn, she is hot. <laughs> my partner in life is my Carl, have you know? Hmm. Of course, I have been known to savor some special moments with only the most beautiful of women. Oh, look at you, laying on the charm. <laughs> so, no girlfriend? Could I take that to mean that you also don't have a wife or kids? <laughs> of course I don't. <laughs> that maybe he does. <laughs> that made me think you do actually have wife and kids. That'd be quite Anyway, funny. it would be a shame to just let the evening end with dinner now that we're together like this. What do you say to joining me for a drive on the expressway? As for whether that will be where the night ends, well, that will be up to us. He means playing Monopoly together very aggressively all night long, okay? That's all they're thinking about, honestly. Uh -huh. Get your mind out the gutter. <laughs> oh my. Oh my. He sure is Sorry. used to this. He makes even cringeworthy lines like that seem totally natural. <laughs> Well, whatever. This is my chance to see if there's any truth to that rumor about him traveling the country. Oh, are you traveling to Long Light, right? Oh, we're gonna. Oh, this might be the chapter that my dreams have come That's true. That's fine by me. I'm looking forward to seeing how fast you can. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what was? Z1 racer Maxim Lugan. I'm a reporter with Buzz Raider magazine. Now you see, if he wore glasses, no one would know who he is. Honestly, what a new- Think we could steal a few minutes of your time? Buzz Raider? Not the <laughs> She's hiding. even worse than Meld. <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. Excellent. She's not very stealthy. For someone who's basically like Catwoman, you're not very good at it. So we know you've been everywhere from Tharbad and Longport to Messeldom and Crossbell in the past three months. You're a bit of a globetrotter in your off time, wouldn't you say? Uh... <laughs> now, it's clear you've been living up to your single status to find yourself a girl in every town. Then, could it be you're on the hunt for one here in Edith now, too? How did you... Have you been following me everywhere I go? Can't take it seriously with Judith trying to hide. <laughs> I'll admit that I spend my nights out on the town, but that's not why I'm traveling around. Yeah. Holy sus on that. <laughs> <laughs> the Wait, glass is not uh, working. She's got nothing to do with. I can't believe what a scoop we have on our hands. Meld's gonna be eating our dust with this one. So, how long have the two of you been dating, Miss Judith Lanster? <laughs> the glasses don't work, okay? I know it's meant to be the joke, but. At least, oh god, I forget her name. How did I forget her name? The blue hair, well, at least Nina wore a hat. I mean, the hat said disguise on her, but at least that was something more than glasses. Honestly. Please join the party already. <laughs> Don't make me wait another 500 years. Is this chapter 5? I thought there was an intermission. intermission. Maybe not, I don't know. I don't know, but I'm very curious. 11th of November, 9th. Boom, boom. Boom. The 9th of the November. Oh, God, I can't work. Is this chapter 5? I don't know. We'll find out. November the 9th. Oh, it's Dooms! This thing is cool! It's a mechanical wolf, right? Awesome! Looks really strong, too. He's like some kind of guardian beast from a fairy tale. He's awesome. Do the raw. Do the raw. Yes, Shrek reference. Yes, he's living with us now. Aren't you, Zeros? There it is. <laughs> Demonic roof. Yeah, he can bark too. Can we pet him? Yeah, easy, you two. Don't upset him. It's like a deaf hound. Don't touch it. Paulette's still caked up, I see. Yes, move along. Why did I say that out loud? Anyway, that van's just a magnet for strange types, isn't he? I am. I am, to be fair. The new landing's animals seem like a good bunch, but still. Well, even better than good, since they made you the happiest I've seen in a while. She's just the cutest dog thing you ever did see. It's true. It is actually true. Yums is the cutest, okay? That's just a fact. You're always like a different person when you're talking about her. <laughs> I like the fan is broadening his circle of friends and acquaintances. It's nice to see. Oh, they're back. Market purchase is complete. Now that is helpful. Having a drone shop for you. Five Boom. caroms of muscles, three caroms of shrimp, and two caroms of artichokes purchased. Please confirm. 
Thanks for you. I can tell you've picked the freshest ones too. Incredible how quickly technology has advanced. Uh, now I sound really old. I mean, I want one, don't you? Can you imagine that? <laughs> sure has gotten lively around here compared to when Van was working by his lonesome though. They're all growing boys and girls too. Want to be sure to give them all the food they need. Except for Aaron, he gets nothing, okay. He still hasn't learned his lesson. He still calls me old, okay. Oh, this is the intermission. A mysterious tale in long line. Okay, okay. This is what I've heard is so the best part. Shift the topic Sorry. toward the Genesis and Van's Grendel. I've heard this is the best part of the game, so I'm excited. Oh, I was wondering if there was going to be an intermission. It took. I was like, they take. There can't be five chapters, right? Where is it anyway? Unfortunately, I don't think it'll be possible to learn anything about the Genesis nature from them directly. Oh, Rosette's back. <laughs> it makes me so happy. They appear to have some kind of protection uh, akin to artifacts, keeping their secrets from us. I can't fathom why they only react to on yes either. It does feel as though the Mafia knows a fair amount about them, though. I had a feeling you wouldn't be able to learn anything from them. Mind you, I'm actually also somewhat in the dark when it comes to the Genesis. Yeah, I get the impression they don't know how they're doing what they're doing with them. They just have an idea of what they can do. Bad things, basically. They're more like disposable tools to whip out for whatever they want to do at any given point. But ours can become Grendel, so we win. Boom. Makes me mad that they're using him that way. But there's no better way of putting it. We've taken four back from them so far, and that's how it seemed every time. Yeah, much as it pisses me off, they don't seem to give a damn about what happens to the Genesis after they're done with it. We have noted here, they do seem to be pretty consistent. Now they've used the Genesis too. Just as I'm consistent with this. I gotta do it, okay? You can't not groove to this song. Yes, I agree. They've referred to everything they've done as an experiment. Whether it's manipulating people's vital energies, interfering with their minds, or installing a human's personality into a machine, our matter has been keep, kept, kept using the Genesis as a trigger for various kinds of unnatural phenomena. Yeah, I think it's an important fact to bear in mind if we're going to get to the bottom of this. Fortunately, in all the cases we've seen, the phenomenon triggered hasn't recurred re once it's been stopped. But there is one particular phenomenon that our matter isn't behind that's been happen that's happened again and again. Oh, the Grendel. Oh. Here, yeah, I got you. Van's transformation into the Grendel, correct? That's right. The ability to reproduce results for further study is a crucial factor in science and engineering. We like use it in battle normally. That'd be epic, like a reen being. There's a lot that we don't know about the Grendel. But what we do know now is that it's comprised of exceedingly high density shards. We also know that Van's hollow, Mare, appears when activating him. Or rather, a version of her that possesses free will appears. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, just tell me what you want. <laughs> Mare, incidentally, is a custom hollow developed by At Maduk. Her source code is classified, and she was created using AI knowledge purchased from multiple companies. However, it goes without saying that a hollow designed by Maduk does not have free will. That's normal. The hollows that the rest of us use also talk, we can't have a conversation with them. No. But when she shows up to help Van transform, she's clearly got a sense of self. Hmm. It's theoretically possible she's programmed to only see him that way on the surface, but I'm inclined to agree. Same here. I need to program an obscene number of possible responses to give an illusion of free will. She doesn't even have enough space for that much code, right? That's correct. She takes up only marginally more space on your Zypher than the hollows that everyone else uses. We haven't had the, the Grendel spoke to us once. For what, like a few moments before when Rosette turned up. And that's never been mentioned again. Vans never brought up the fact that Grendel talked to him. So, curious. We would need to perform a special test to be absolutely sure either way. But the man that possesses free will seems to be a life form comprised entirely of data. I don't think I could even wrap my head around that idea. Me too, fairy, don't worry about it. This is sounding real shady all of a sudden. Not everything's shady, Aaron. And you say, oh, it's time. Yes, God do it. Now, for argument's sake, we assume that Mare is an AI app that achieved free will. Jigger for that would have to be the Genesis' gnome. That's what I was thinking, yeah. Then again, I hate to say this in front of you, is it? Can't say I fully trust anything Marduk says or does. But I trust Rosette with my life, okay? If they, if Marduk used her for bad things, I will destroy the company. I will blow, I will make a nuke and blow up Marduk if they hurt Rosette, okay? You need not worry about causing offense. I understand why you would feel that way. Thanks. Still, I think that even if the, even they have their limits, 
Can't help but wonder exactly where the material that formed her source code came from. Black Workshop, probably. But I can't imagine they entrusted her to ban, but even that she would exhibit so much unusual behaviour. I think the root of the cause lies in Professor Epstein's legacy rather than her. Incidentally, AI gaining free will is one thing that will qualify as a technological <laughs> singularity. Suspense, yes. Which will mean that, put another way, something happened to Mare that allowed her to evolve past that massive hurdle. Evolve? Now we're really in the goddess's territory. I know, right? My god. Testament suggests that evolution was a process intended to let we humans shape the world around us. It also describes as what's helped us bring about our latent potential. That was from the book of Shahat, verse 2. Joe Cannon's letter, I think. Okay. Anyway, I think I get what you're saying. I don't, but please elaborate. You want to have a chance to observe everything, right? Mare's appearance, the shards going berserk, in short, everything that happens from the start to me going Gorendal. You want to see it all, including what role a genesis is playing in it. Oh! <laughs> exactly. You know, knowledge will help me support Arnez in her quest for answers too. It might also let you call on the Grendel's power in a less- Are we going to be able to summon him in battle? Because I will sp I will give him all of the CP gen and spam that shit, okay? <laughs> Just like the Reen days. What do you think? Does that work for you? I thought it be voice. Sure. Goddamn. We've got five Genesis so far, which leaves three still out there to recover. We shouldn't be glitching them. I still believe that we shouldn't be doing this. We can't be sure the Maffy has the rest. If we get any more chances to stop him from causing any trouble, we should take him. And if I end up with a good excuse to transform in our future work, we'll give it a shot. <laughs> As long as we have a Genesis on hand, we should be able to brute force whatever the other transformation conditions are. Well, the condition seems to be that Van gets punched extremely hard in the ribs and then he transforms, right? Then we just gotta grab Mare Bear when she shows up, right? That's about the short of it. I've already added the sensors necessary to observe her and record it all to Theo. This could be a little dangerous, but I think it'll be worth our while to try. Don't worry, I'll have you guys there to bet me up. So I'm sure I'll be fine. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh god. I won't count Aaron for backup, my god. Of course you will. We'll be right there with you all the way. Very will be. Not Aaron. This sounds like it could be fun. I will be there to give any technology related support that you may need. Hmm. We can't do any of this without a Genesis being there. If you're not on board, we won't go ahead with it. It's not that. I can't deny that I'm worried you might be hurt in the process. No, she's worried about us. But the chance of us learning something more about the Genesis yes. and the Grendel through this are promising. So I'll do all as I can to support you. Well then, right, then it's settled. Ooh. Alright then, let's get started on... Oh, is it just like a normal Edith day then? Let's start on today's work. We're going to need a few of you to handle some other stuff. The Captain's trial period ain't over yet. No, oh, not Cap... So I'm built in. <laughs> that works for me. Though, I honestly can't imagine it would take me long to grasp exactly what you do here. Hey, don't downplay what we do. Don't make it out like we do stupid things. Oh. But go ahead and show me exactly what being a Spriggan is all about. Oh, it's like a normal. Okay, fair enough. I'll back you up to the best of my ability. Select one additional member to accompany Catcher, Arnez, and Van. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, I mean... Not Aaron. <laughs> it's a running joke at this point. I know. I'm just going to have to continuously rip on Aaron. He would be helpful, but... Technically, that's two mages in Van, so Fairy will be better, right? Rosette will be yet another mage. And Arnes can kind of fill that role. I'm going to Fairy. In terms of combat, I think she's the best fit. Orbans can now be customized from the main menu now that Catra is in play. Oh, okay. Now that Catra has become an ally, you can modify Orbans. Whenever I like. Are you serious? You can just like at Almond Shops, you can now unlock slots. I'm pressing RT. It's RT is not. I'm pressing. <laughs> uh, why won't you let me do it? Edit quartz. No, wait. Why is he saying I could? Oh, yeah. Time now I press. This. Wow. Okay, that's actually really nice. <laughs> Also, we only got we only got two covers for that, and no more appeared. Um, yeah, okay, fair enough. Well, is this just a straight up Edith time? Oh my god! 
Oh, wow, that's literally everything. And the, oh my God. That's all the game. That's all the game. <laughs> uh, I was not expecting quite a match. Well, we'll talk to the computer. Obviously, I'm gonna cut. There it is. I'm gonna cut all the non-essential people. Of course, Aaron's not here. Why does he always run off? Reset's diligent. God damn it. Oh my God, there's so much. SP report. Nailed it. <laughs> of course, the chapter ended. I'm a tip. Uh, okay, well, fair enough. Yeah, I'm gonna cut everything that's not important because this could take a very, very long time. Okay, prepare food. Nope, nothing new. Okay. I'm ready. Are you ready for this, ladies and gentlemen? It's gonna be a marathon. It's gonna be a very long episode. <laughs> I'm keeping it all in one. I'm determined. I finished fitting, filing the new documents, so I took the liberty of refactoring your computer in my... It's so good. The Kitty engine was updated as well. I installed a new revision for you. The Kitty engine? Never heard of that. What exactly is it? It's perfectly legit. Don't worry about it. It is an independent search engine that allows access to the dark web and a safe and controlled environment. Its creator remains unknown, though. Yeah, who, who could it possibly be? No, of its name comes speculation that it was created by... The infamous black hat hacker, Kitty. Does sound finish, but I've used it a fair bit. And it works just as advertised. Actually, I've used it before too. Ren, our oh, mates. Ren recommended it to me as well, if I recall. Oh, that makes a lot of sense actually. Maybe I should give it a look later. Learning how to use that will be a valuable skill. Mm. Oh, nay, stop blowing everything. Rumors allege that Kitty was also involved in the creation of the social media aggregator that we use. It's proven quite useful. Potential origins notwithstanding. As always, I will collect and forward any relevant information I find. Oh, you're so cute. Head pats. If I would, I will give you all the head pats. Anyway, let's move along. Aaron's not here, is he? Of course he's not. God damn it. Well, Aaron's not here, but Theo is. Are you doing the laundry? My God, I want one so much. Theo, what are you doing here? Oh, don't tell me. Currently executing Palette's request to dry the laundry. <laughs> is the laundry satisfactorily dry? Hmm. Yep, this looks good. Thank you, Theo. I want one so much. Uh, good. This mission log will be added to training data data sets again. But yeah, redoes it all. I want I want ten of them. Mission accomplished. Now reporting to Paulette. Zeros is currently carrying out another mission outside. Um, well. Well, all right then. My God, I want respect. Oh, free time as well. I didn't even notice that. What's next? Who is available? <laughs> Aaron. Capture. Now, as always, I will do all four of them as a separate episode because I feel like you guys want to see them all because obviously when you play it yourselves, you can only do two of them as well. So if you chose them two, you wouldn't have known what they do. So I'm going to do these two. Yeah, screw Aaron. <laughs> oh, no, but it's about Yooms. Oh, wait. Well, I'm going to do them two because they're almost done and you get something good for it, I think. So anyway, yes, move along. I honestly expected Aaron to be hitting you up again. I, mean, I don't blame him. I mean, go wrong with any of them. Paulette is like the foxiest of all the characters in this See game. But boom. Humans just can't get enough of Zeros. <laughs> they sit outside playing with the other kids. I hope that's not the problem though, Catra. Oh no, it's perfectly fine. I'm sure he'll get some interesting data for the trouble. I don't believe Zeros has interacted with a group of children at once before. It's always good to broaden his horizons like that. I see. I'm glad she's being helpful at any rate. Of course it's Humes. Humes is always helpful. God damn it. Theo is always helping me out too. I'll have to reward them later. Uh, well, thank you very much. Man, I have no idea how to approach her. You treat her like your mother, okay? Which is respect. Not like Aaron, the perv. She has quite the presence, doesn't she? No drone can quite match her. Seriously. My God. Can I have 10 Paulettes as well? Not for weird reasons, just I just want 10 Paulettes. You must be home soon. The time flies when she's having fun. I won't be surprised if she runs a little late. Not that there's anything wrong with that, of course. Indeed. God damn, this place is so safe and chill. I love it. You still hungry? Probably. Ooh, Pick new items. Already. Yep, you're still Take grumpy. Out there. Always. I did train at a restaurant for the record. Record. I'm not self-taught. Just racked up a lot of experience of the years. Don't want to force this on Paulette and Yooms, though. I figure I'll change it up when I retire. Remodel it into something that they might like more. A cafe, maybe. That's very Persona-esque like you. Consider this advance notice. When that time comes, I'm going to need a certain slacker upstairs to pitch... Oh, God, fine. You're going to try to stick that on my rent? <laughs> Hurry up. Depends, of course. Have mercy on my wallet. I beg you. Didn't realize he actually had savings. Hopefully, he can keep them. We don't have many. We spend it all on your armor and weapons, everyone. 
Oh, damn. Manage the type who lives for his hobbies if his rent gets raised. No, 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 no. Boom, let's move along. Oh, Eddie. You checking out my ride? My god, it's been a while. I want to see if he's uh, finally changed his ways. Well, I can go home anyway, unless I want to deal with her. But I ain't got anything left on me. Now, what am I supposed to do? Go home and apologize to your mother. Honestly. What a child. You, you, you just leave me alone, you. How dare you? He really could stand to be more honest with himself. Hey, word of advice don't touch my car if you want to keep your knee cap. <laughs> And he's alive with glowing him like he just kicked a puppy. Well, he did. My car is the equivalent of a puppy. Barry, when it's night time, just... You know what to do, okay? She's gonna sort him out. Trust me. Why are you here? Oh, wait, are you shopping? Are you doing the grocery shopping? That'd be shock. I was dicking around with nothing to do with... Okay, no. He was dicking around, of course you were. I was dicking around with nothing to do when Paulette asked me to run an errand for it. Didn't feel like it, but eh. There was something I wanted to grab too. Makes me look good, I guess. Who knew? All we have to do is, all, all you need to make Aaron do anything is to be attractive. That's just the kind of man Aaron is, honestly. You know, this place is a pretty good lineup. Color me impressed. Maybe I'll pick up a little something for Sid now that he's better. Oh, ooh, okay, that came out of nowhere. He was the one that was survived the uh, the attack on Longport. Catcher, be quiet, honestly. He's the one that survived the attack on uh, Longport. He's all right. That's good. Guys said he was going to drop by for the festival. Heh. <laughs> Brings the rest of those- There is going to be a festival, I knew it. He- No, no, low battery in my headphones. No, he brings the rest of those jack also along. He's supposed to get real noisy, real fast. Honestly, Aaron. Behave yourself. Oh my god. I just, they're all playing with a dog and then there's a cat up there. Can I talk to the cat? Can I- how can I- can I talk to the cat somehow? How do I do- oh, oh, we can! Ooh! Huh? That the- yeah, he doesn't like the giant demonic dog of death. I get it. Seems awfully hostile towards Zeros. He exudes this aura. I'm not sure how to put it. His fur is all puffed out, like he's trying to make himself look bigger. Does he think Zeros is some kind of threat? I mean, that is a scare. If you were a cat and you saw that, you'd be cacking your pants as well. Yep, he's got cat at you. Oh dear. Being the head honcho, he feels the need to scare people up as turf. Damn, respect, cat. I agree with you entirely, Mr. Cat. How you doing, Yums? Always forget how small she is. <laughs> okay, camera angle. Hey, come on, line up if you want to give head pets. Dream's dream. <laughs> Don't pat him all at once, or he'll get tired. I'm on time, but what at a time, okay? Well, I appreciate your concern, but he doesn't exactly get tired like a real dog would. <laughs> That's it. It's important to treat him with care. Yeah, my thanks. I am the landlady, after all. <laughs> God, so precious. Oh, she's imitating her mum. Doesn't really have the presence for it yet, but no need to rain on her parade. Hey, Van. Yums is doing all right, honestly. Mm, don't worry, I'll take good care of Zeros for you. Good luck at work, everyone. Go. <laughs> so cute. Well, the birds aren't bothered. They're just chilling right next to him. Oh yeah, they're the ones that are always perfectly in sync. Did someone just teleport a corner of my eye? Probably. Zero. He's looking at the birds. Just along for the ride, is he? Such a demonic growl. <laughs> We're taking turns giving head pats. I wish that was that was I wish that was me. Should have been me. <laughs> you go reference. But when Sheena's turn came, she got really excited and kind of freaked out. Never seen her like that before. <laughs> no. No, money in me. Wow, this is so cool. Can I really play with him? That wasn't me. The game actually shook. That wasn't me having an effect. <laughs> hey, no fair humes. Why don't you tell me sooner? Kids get himself all worked up. Sounds like just can't handle himself. I'm expecting my assistants to prove so popular with children. Not that I mind. I mean, if you were a kid, that would be the best thing you've ever seen. I almost forgot. Dad's coming back from his big picture. Wow. He's been gone since, like, chapter one. I'm going to tell him all about Xeros when he gets back. No. Boo -doo -boo -doo. Oh, oh, my God. It's, it's, it's cool, right? <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, my God. It's so cute. <laughs> it's so precious. Wait. Cute. What? Yeah, I won't use that word. I'd use badass looking, but not cute. I always wanted to become a witch. And what's a witch without a familiar? <laughs> oh, this papa's just perfect. Strong, clever, and loyal too. Funny you should mention witches, because they are actually real. We do we know several of them. I think she's broken. Hey, come on, let me have a turn. I wanna pet the dog too. She's not broken, she just likes dogs, okay? 
<laughs> oh, I can't stand the cuteness. It'd be nicer to have a fluffier one. Fluffier one. But this will do just fine. Harry to Sheena. Are you listening? She's gone, my dude. Let her go. Let her go. It's over. Oh, there's a sub event in here. Hello? Who is it? Oh. Hey, Marielle. How you doing? Oh, you're not sub event. Okay. Phew, looking good. It's all good. Welcome my stomach a bit, though. <laughs> uh, a van? What are you guys doing? Wait, were you... She wasn't in Basel, was she? I just realized that. That's the first time you actually didn't follow her. Uh, oh, right. He did say your office was around here. I, uh, I kind of forgot. Dingo, I take it. Mm-hmm. We're just about the month. We're just about the month. Oh, don't give her. The She'll never leave us alone. Good day. You mean the same place Dingo treated me to? Huh, I have no idea. So what brings you here, Maria? Are you here for work? Or maybe you're here for a little bath date with Dingo? <laughs> I'm gonna wash each other's backs. Super hard, I know. Ooh. No, no way. I'm sing uh, alone. I, I'm alone. <laughs> Aw. I'll put it fast. Oh, is that what this is? Yep, didn't have him over him. Oh, it's gonna be a bath event, obviously. <laughs> His trails are gonna be a bath event. So the other day, I got my first scoop on the job. Well, kinda. I asked Dingo for a little bonus for my work. He ended up treating me to lunch. Oh, that was all the bonus she wanted. Went off to do his own stuff afterward, but not before recommending the public baths to me. I didn't realize they had the sauna too. You might just have made a regular out of me. You're still blushing. My god. Wow. Right, place rules. You're good eye and good taste, young lass. <laughs> On the subject, are there supposed to be these milk bottles strewn about the place? Oh, that's fruit a la. <laughs> I've had some, and it's really good. Better than co I doubt that. I doubt that, Fairy. I always trust you, but I doubt that. Coffee's gods. Drink, my dude. Yeah, about that. Well, a lifetime supply of fruit I'll lack the other day. Oh, yeah, she's always lucky. She's like the luckiest person. Didn't think it actually meant lifetime. This keeps coming and coming. I finish a pallet and another pops up at my door. So, how about I give you some? Waste not, what not? Well, thank you. Hell yeah. Trust me, I couldn't drink them all if I tried. My poor, aching stomach. <laughs> Can we really? Thank you very much. Would you like some as well, Catra? Uh, is that alright? I admit I'm curious. I haven't had a Fruit out that before. Oh, respect, Mario. I do like Mario. Yeah, called the Dingo. She's just stupid. Yeah, <laughs> she wins everything. She's very good for a reporter, actually. It's like perfect. Mm, nothing I've seen you here before. Are you a new assistant of his? Yes, I'm an, on a temporary assignment here. My name is Kata Celestial. Yes, he's still learning the ropes. I'm thinking about putting him in charge of all our IT and engineering stuff. I see. You're buddy building up quite the little crew here, haven't you? He's just missing one more member. Who, who wears certain latexes and things. Almost here. <laughs> Funny how young they look. But hey, that's none of my business. Again, it's not weird, okay? They recruit themselves. I do nothing. If I does something sketch, do me a favor and sock it to him, all right? <laughs> Very no, okay? Should the need arise? Why do I look after these kids? You're all conniving little snots and I hate you. <laughs> These RNAs are nice. Hey, no one got stuck on a door. I'm kind of shocked by that. Oh, bath time. Hey, use bath. I'm going to use it. No. I was going to use it first and then do the thing, but no. Hey, Vamp. Do my eyes deceive me or do I see you've made this another friend? Oh, it's bonding time, Catra. You better be ready. We're going to bond super hard. And I pretty one at that. Say, since you're here, why don't you hop in for a little dip? Guaranteed you'll love it here. This place is real nice. Got a legit sore and everything. I'm sure you have to get the most out of it if you game. I'm I'm good, thanks. I just had a shower this morning. Just a bit too soon to wash up again. Don't let me stop you though. The rest of you want to take a bath? Go ahead. I don't mind waiting. You sure? Shame. I was looking forward to in in inducting you as an honorary sauna sage. A what? I don't know if I like the sound of that. Oh, it's intense, trust me. According to him, a sauna sage is someone with an enlightened appreciation for saunas. Or something like that. Wow, him, him and Reem. We'll get on like a house on fire, my god. I think it involves some kind of hammam training. I don't know. Van, knock it off. I know you mean well, but don't go making my potential future customers uncomfortable. <laughs> anyway, if you're ever interested in giving this place a try, you guy, you're more than welcome to come back anytime. Uh, right, thanks. Maybe I will sometime. Wait, is it not, is it not gonna be a bath of him? God damn it. Should I? I know what's supposed to happen in these sorts of places. What? You wash? Nothing weird happened. Aaron's not here, so you're fine. <laughs> Let's Step do it. Inside? Welcome, welcome. Don't be here for a dip. Boom. Is, oh, it's an event. Okay. 
Oh, for God. Honestly, what a worse. Think I'll pass it for now. I'll just relax out here, if that's okay. You sure? Would well, have been nice to have you, but, uh, but all right. See you in a bit. Oh, he's probably shy about his body and things. He's at that age, though, you know? I have no shame. I don't care. Psst. Hey, I've got an idea. You want to try a reserve private bath? And... Ooh. It's pretty small, but it still comes with a sauna. You interested? Huh? Uh, how did you know I... It's Edith. You meet all kinds of people here with different needs and comfort levels. Grandpa and the others built it to cater to people who might prefer to soak alone, whether it's out of custom or whatever. That's very good. What do you say? You in? I would actually like that. Thank you. I take up another offer. Hmm. I feel like Van's gonna bulldoze his way in, you know what I mean? Oh god, it's so nice! I need that actually, my back is hurting like a bastard. That's the stuff. Like really bad. It's painful to sit right now. I gotta record, I'm doing it for the content. Oh yeah, the others aren't invited. Okay. Oh. I'm really working up a sweat. <laughs> hey, Arnie wasn't shy this time. Wow. <laughs> wait, what? It's so nice and warm in here. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait, wait, whoa, 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 are you actually a female? Is Make that what sure it? Don't catch a cold. Mmm. Mmm. Is that what I was suggesting? I don't know. I'm probably looking way yep. too, way too deep into it. I just wanted to say, um, thank you for accommodating me. I feel much more comfortable now. Mmm. Happy to hear it. Send me know what else you need, and I'll get it for you. No problem. Thank you. Heh. <laughs> Paths will win them over eventually. I'm sure of it. I mean, I can see it. I don't want to be rude, but I can see it. Hmm. But you know what I mean, right? They like, use that to... How many did you drink while we were in there? My God. Phew, been a while since I got some time off. I rest up for a bit and then head home. Actually, I remember Dingo saying he wanted to go out for drinks sometime. Maybe he's free tonight. I'll hit him up and see what he's up to. <sighs> and we all could do that bond event, so we'll see. <laughs> Sly bastard, the guy. I'm not sure you want to talk, Van. With all due respect... Oh, nay, no, you wounded me. Mm. <laughs> no, it's not just me, right? Please let me know if you also think that. I just know that no guy would do that for any reason. Like, I'm not shy to show me nips, you know what I'm saying? As a dude, so... Mm. Mm. Anyway, let's move along. <laughs> well, 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 if it's not old Natey boy, how you doing? You always look so depressed, it's quite funny. We haven't been able to track down our matter, regardless of how hard we look. Hmm. Uh, ma'am, I feel close to my limit. Oh, damn it. You're having a hard time too, yeah? Is that, that why you're on patrol duty? Guess our matter has been... Has it only been like a week? Right? Two weeks, something like that? Well, we can't just relax. Relax just yet. We never know when they'll strike again, after all. It's hard to request a day off when things are like this. We better hurry up and arrest those guys. At least then, I'll be able to get back to in my girlfriend's good books. She's still dating you. I'm shocked. How's Nate got a girlfriend? And how's it working? <laughs> Flimsy motivations aside, I guess we both aiming for the same thing. Let's catch those guys. What up, Nate? You haven't seen much of the bad guys ever since the attacks on Basil and Anchorville last month. Anything come up on your side of... You're asking me and you're not... And you're smiling? I don't like this new Nate. Nothing we can share. Sorry. <laughs> oh, Nate. God damn it. Police are also having a rough go of it, huh? God damn, he's finally nice to us. Uh, but at least things look like they're going back to normal. Oh, itch on my ear. The bad people investigations are winding down in Anchorville too. Ah, uh, can't beat peace. For now. For now, you can't beat peace, honestly. Oh, is he upstairs? The upstairs is available now, isn't it? Ooh! Oh, well, I did not think it would be open plan. Wow, look at this. The announcer's not even driving me mad. This is very... Very nice. I would totally be up it. Is that Millie? No. You have the same character model. <laughs> oh, you're not the same, but you have a cute dog. That's what matters. Wow, what a sight. You can see the whole front of the station. I mean, this is pretty dope. Kind of makes you want to shout, Hi! And all the people down below. Right. <laughs> oh. 
Yes, that's how I make dog noises. This is awesome. Is there anything up here? Yes, there are shops. Okay, what do you have? Why do I recognize Milty? Your name? I recognize your name. Hey, kids. Lyle. Wait, was that your voice? That did not match. Look around all you like. Does that match him? Is no. Anyway, Jumbo Frank. Well, cheers. Nice one, Lyle. Peace out. Um... I agree, Fairy. This is weird. He's probably doing it for the ladies, right? You should get yourself a nice part-time gig. They go on not too long ago, actually. I saw he needed some cash after all his failed dates and stuff. <laughs> also, why did it take them so long to open this up? Like, I don't know. City manager. Cooking jobs turn out to be a piece of cake. Pun totally intended. I'm hilarious. I cook at home all the time, so I'm used to it. Huh. He's got some wholesome in him. Not just the chicks up on his brain. <laughs> I remember Lyle saying he was having quite a tough time at home because it's just him and his mum. Aww. Why does everyone have to have a bad, sad backstory? God damn it. Why? <laughs> Mama's health isn't the best. So I take care of all the cooking and the house jewels. Um, is my house husband appeal not good enough? That would work. It'd be hard to sell it, but if they could see people like those kind of skills, my dude. What's a high school supposed to do with this lame, lame life, love life? <laughs> We all have it, okay? You all had a lame love life. <laughs> anyway, I think everyone wants a guy that can take care of himself. Maybe don't put that in the first date resume. What ruined my school love life was, I was so shy that I could not see the most obvious blaring in my face signs that they liked me and I always failed it every time. I even got asked out several times and I just couldn't say yes. So I'm forever alive. <laughs> but I had moments and, I, and it, it haunts me every night I sleep. Yes, they got real for a second. <laughs> uh, Lyle's nice if you get to know him. He seems alright at mine, Lyle. He reminds me so much of Sydney. I recognize you. Why don't I recognize you? Sons oh, you were the new... You are going to be the new work? Uh, okay, maybe that. So today, Western's department stores, rooftop terrace is officially open. My name is Milty. I'm the new recruit in charge of managing the rooftop. I ran a cafe at my old job. It was in a large shopping center that also doubled as an event venue. So I hope the experience will help it. It is you. Okay, that's cool. Boom. I'll talk to you since I have. There's a lot of room on the roof for holding events. Not to mention the killer view. Yeah, why did this take so long? It's all You're not building anything. Or maybe you built the benches. I don't know. There's a lot of room on the roof for holding events. Not to mention the killer view. How will people get to be able to pull something off like that soon? It is my responsibility as a manager to ensure our rooftop lounge is a perfect hangout spot. I expect the place to become popular with children once we install some children's play sets. Hmm... May that be a bit dodgy with, you know, falling off the roof or whatever. And starts holding events here. You know what? Respect. You know what, Re Lyle? Respect. You do your house husbanding. I'm proud of you. Good lad. Fee, dearest. Are you in here? Fee, dearest. Hmm. 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 Well, who are you? Well, you're new. Are you? Re Yay, Regina. I do like Regina. As also the commenter said, I agree. She's very cute. And the outfits are very, uh... They help sell that back. Anyway, yes. Ewan, when did you get in the main branch? Just now, actually. Thought I'd surprise you guys. Are you from La or something? Again, I don't know. <laughs> I wanted to come by early to update you guys, but work and life kept me busy lately. <laughs> Everything going well with your girlfriend, then? God, everyone's, everyone's got a girlfriend. <laughs> oh, why is it not me? No, sorry. Anyway, yep, it's a little embarrassing to talk about, to be honest. Do have our issues and everything, of course. Prima works at the police department, right? Probably has her hands just as full, really. I'm glad things are going well, despite that. Hopefully we'll get a chance to hang out soon. <laughs> yeah, I know she'd love to as well. Make sure to stop by if you come by Orashishon anytime soon. Maybe we're not going to Orashishon then. I thought we might be. Maybe that's for the next game. I don't know. Ewan works in the Orashishon branch. He started the year before Jacket Man. And I did. He's a really promising up-and-coming bracer. He was promoted to B rank before Jacket. Oh, it's the one that Jacket Man's got a competition with. Well, a one-way competition, because Ewan doesn't care, so... Before Jacket Man was, after all. Though, Jacket Man isn't that far behind. After everything that happened last month, might also be on track for a promotion to B-Rank. He doesn't deserve it, okay? <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. He, he did good, but he's not fee level of rank, okay? Came by to update the main branch and our research progress over at Arroshiam. We've been looking into the Mafia. I haven't been by the capital in a while. I have so many people I want to at least say hi to. Hazel, of course, and Yin and Elaine are also a must. Oh, they here? I don't know. I'd have a chance to talk to Alvis too, but it looks like he's as busy as ever. Hmm. Now, I know I said ages ago that Elaine will be a party member. I don't think she will be. 
Because she's not going to leave the braces to join Arkwright Solutions. So maybe she's just going to be a permanent, like, part, like, guest character type thing? I don't know. We did receive a report, but there are a few things that still concern me. Luca and I are planning to continue with our analysis in an attempt to get some answers. Oh yeah? Good to hear my good-for-nothing granddaughter is turning into a good-for-something. <laughs> to be honest, she's uh, kind of terrifying. But at a young age, she's become the Orashian Branch's backbone. May have only been with us for a year, but I don't know anyone that would argue with me on, a, on that statement. <laughs> yeah, my daughter's a badass. No need for last flattery. I'm sure you're just exaggerating. It must be good to hear that she's well. Tell her to stop by again sometime, won't you? Indeed. Mm. You also say indeed. Mmm. Mmm. I have doubts about you now. Anyway, I'm relieved to hear my granddaughter has been doing well at the ration branch. A young man has been coming to help me with my office work as well. It might help with efficiency if we took in some more staff for the back office. You should, because the braces are permanently understaffed. <laughs> Literally always. Fee? Fee? No, where's Fee then? Mmm. That's this place done, right? Yes. Now it's just the important bit. Now, I actually only just realized, about an hour and 42 minutes into this, that it says complete forest PTs. So there are actually forest PTs. I did not notice the very obvious thing. <laughs> oh, well, so where should we go first then? Mm. Probably the smallest one, which would be this, I think. Let's get going. But is it smaller than the side? I don't know. It's where the forest PT is? Okay, this is where the forest PT is, though, Jim. Yes. You're still looking at the cars. Respect. Oh. Jacket man. He's back. Hello. Hello, Kayla. I like Kayla. Not not you, but I like I like Kayla. Anyway. <gasps> Shock. Hello. You guys again? Huh. Sticking your nose in the trouble as usual, I take it. Yeah, he's still a douche. I thought you might like us a little bit after we saved an entire city from being destroyed. <laughs> but no. But, well, I guess that's not always a bad thing. Oh, I do. Oh, he's smiling. It's just character growth for Jacket man. I do owe you for puzzle. We were just discussing... Obviously, Van's going to ruin it by mocking him, but you know. I d we were just discussing our cleanup efforts and what we subsequently learned about the group's movements. Whoa, am I dreaming? I got props from... Yeah, now he's going to ruin it. <laughs> he's going to hate you again. I got props from a bracer and they're letting me in on some inside info? Oh, don't get ahead of yourself. I just can't stop you from listening in on us when you're right... <laughs> I would stand right by the head and listen, as we have been doing to everyone. Nothing tells me that cold shoulders just for show. I agree, Arne. He loves us, really. Even the guild has to admit you played a large part in Basil. We lost track of their airship, unfortunately. But we did manage... How did that... How did Marduk's giant... Bloody battleship not have a radar to keep tabs... Honestly. Unfortunately, but we did manage to ferret out their other moves in the meantime. We've been also been cracking down their business ties and collaborators. Which has helped us make numerous high-profile arrests. Yeah, that checks out. After this shit show in Basil, I bet the CID wants these guys gone. That's good to hear, but I'm still bothered that we have no intel on them in terms of motives or end goals. Where are the, where are the ninja people going to fit in then? I don't know, but I'm curious. Boom. Yeah, and what's also weird is, Messelsum's claim calmed down a lot. You'd think they'd be ramping up their activities there, right? The guild's trying to get to the bottom of that now. Want to figure out their, the impetus for that swing. That's a word I've never heard before, but whatever. Chief Ruan has all of us on high alert, in fact. Though, that's just bureaucracy, really. At any rate, I do hope the guild takes our intel into account. Oh, we will. Hell, if we get in info before they attack, maybe we can stop them from killing a ton of people. Wouldn't that be done? <laughs> no one likes a sarcastic chuff, Mr. Jacket Man. Sounds like there's some tension between those two. Maybe they could put it aside. Mm, well, <laughs> that was juicy. I have to keep an eye on how all that plays out. Maybe Jacket Man fancies Kayla. I mean, she was very foxy, so I don't blame him. We've been doing our investigation at the guild, plus prepping our own countermeasures against you know who, Lord Voldemort. He's back. Voldemort is back. Anyway, feels like Elaine's been digging a bit deeper than the rest of us, though. Apparently, she's even doing her own research after hours. Talk about dedication. She needs to make sure she doesn't burn herself out. Oh, Trust me, man. Elaine's one of those people who thrives on work. If she didn't work, I feel like she'd break mentally. <laughs> Incidentally, our mutual friend has been in contact fairly regularly. I just hope they keep things under control on their end. Don't quite catch a drift there, but I guess something's keeping the CRD busy. Hmm. Hmm. Mutual friend. Someone who's a bracer and works with the. Hmm. Who could that be? Oh. 
James. Ooh. Sasha, I knew it! There's something about Sasha, ladies and gentlemen. Ooh, can I kick the ball? No, I just phased through it with my foot. There's something about Sasha. She was on the phone to someone. Very important. And even Van was like, who's that she's talking to? And then nothing came of it. Serious doubts, ladies and gentlemen. Hell, hell do you want? Why did you drag me out here? Oh, nothing big. I just figured a match or two might change your outlook on things. <laughs> oh my god, I just start talking. I hate it. Huh? What are you talking about? I can tell you've got a lot on your plate right now. A lot of things stressing you out. Like his love for Ronald Griffith. Err. Oh. Err, oh, Ronald. Oh dear. I've known you since before Ronald dragged you into this mess after all. Even Ren is giving you props for trying to get yourself back on track. Now that he's dropped out, he even helped the elderly. Oh, James hit. He still kind of swore at her in that, but he did help her, technically. But aren't you tired of all that work by yourself? It's okay to ask for help, you know. We can help you get back on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Sorry, that probably sounds so scared. <laughs> get off your friggin' high horse, and you've got some nerve picking a fight you know you'll lose. Oh, don't count me out just like that. I'm the captain of the basketball club for a reason. In fact, I venture to say I'm a better athlete than you in general. Bigger sport? Now wipe the floor with you. Come at me, and when I win, you get the head out of my face. He's not very good. Indeed, yes, you're not very good at making friends, are you, James? Honestly, she's giving you help, and he's just big James. I am so sick of looking at your face. Me thinks he's got issues. Don't you dare bitch without playing rough, got it? I'm gonna whoop your ass, and you're gonna like it. Kinky. <laughs> Sorry, yes. Ruin the moment, as I always do. Until April, James was hanging around with this punk named Ronald. Ronald dropped out, but James still covers for him. Really? He abandoned you and used every... Oh, well, I guess I can help him vent some of his little frustrations, at least. Might have, a li might have to play a little rough with him, though. Are you seeing what I'm seeing, though, Jimin? I'm seeing sparks fly here. Oh, I could see a relationship blooming. Young love. Ooh. Yeah, let's move along, shall we, before it gets too weird. Now, that is everything, yes. I don't want to trigger this. Anything new in the vending machine? Probably not. All right. No, of course not. Let's see if there's any new outfits. Oh. I just bought all the armor at the other place. And this is the one that has the better armor. So did I just do a boo-boo here? No, this is worse. Wow, I'm actually shocked by that. Oh! Catch your green hair. Boom, that's worth it. We await your next visit. I don't know why I scream that. <laughs> How do I equip? Yes, I'm going to do this just to see. I don't usually wear, as you notice, I don't wear any accessories because I feel it really ruins the... Uh... Is that like Kia's hairstyle and eyes, I guess? I don't know. But I just don't like it. It ruins the moment, you see. Like, if they walk around like this, it's just too distracting. You know what I'm saying? So I don't do it anyway. That's that. That was worth the 300 mirror. Then I think there's only two more left, right? Yeah. Oh! <gasps> we get to see a film, right? We might be able to see Ball's Requiem since I didn't do it last time because I was at. Uh... Is someone stuck outside? Aaron, I swear to God, if that's you. <laughs> How are you? Oh, dear, Dora. She got stuck on the garbage thing. Oh. 